Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Selner here with head men's basketball coach Randy Rogers. Coach, you guys are coming off a victory, a very fun one here at Geisman on Saturday afternoon. And a week that had CU Dub, and then you even go back looking at Dominican before that. You guys are starting to get on a roll as a team. Just talk about these last three games. Well, the last one against Illinois Tech was really good because we had to decide if we're going to play our pace, try to get 90, or play their pace. They're usually 69, 62, I think was their average score. And we looked at their athletes and thought, they're going to be able to run with us. We're not going to be able to run them out of the gym. And so we... We went with their pace, uh, took more time on our possessions. They always take time on their possessions, and our defense stepped up. That was good. Uh, Concordia, Wisconsin was a good game. That could have gone either way, too. Um, there were some big, you know, big plays in the last three minutes that decided that one. And Dominican, that really got us going. Dominican was hitting from all over that night and still beating them in overtime. That was, that was a good win. You talk about somebody that's really stepped up, Mitch Policier. 40 points against Dominican. He continues this streak of just being able to score. It's nothing new around here, but 40 is something that we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, he was, he was determined. I mean, a couple timeouts he came and said, none of those guys can guard me. You know, that, that kind of attitude was just phenomenal. But then he takes a team approach against Illinois Tech, loves it that we won, and he only scored 15. So he's not playing selfishly at all. He's doing what we need. And I love the, the joy in the locker room. I mean, afterwards for everybody, yeah. And you talk about somebody else stepping up, Landon Gladney, 18 and 18. We'll have to go back in the record books. That one might not have been done any time in recent memory, at least that I know of. You've been around here yeah. a long time too. That's not something that you see every day. No, there's a guy, Tom Rupert, the all-time rebounding leader that is phenomenal at rebounding. He averaged like 16 rebounds one year. So he may have had that, but that would have been in the 60s. Um, Landon just does it naturally. I mean, I just talked to him about the freedom that we're giving him on offense, and he just said he didn't have that in high school. He loves that, you know, that he can drive from the three-point line. That was a no-no in high school, but he's, uh, he's enjoying it. He's getting better and better, yeah. And it's development of a freshman. It's development to this whole group, and you've kind of seen them come together. You've shortened up the rotation over the last two weeks and that's kind of spurred a lot of people and it seems that confidence is growing very quickly with this team. Yeah, it's again, the guys who don't play are very unselfish because we've gone with like eight guy rotation for the last couple of games. Uh, our depth was taken away, you know, when, when Israel's no longer with our team, JJ's out until the end of January. Um, you know, we got Cade out, Cade Musel and, uh, and Louie. So we're gonna get some of those guys back and could be difference, you know, number of minutes that people get rest, but with Landon, Jalen, and Mitch, they're playing 35, 40 minutes a game. So we're asking a lot of them, and they're giving us a lot. Yeah. You guys head into a stretch, much like the women's side, that it's very key if you're going to make a playoff push here over the final stretch of the season now that we're at the midway point. You guys have Benedictin coming in here tomorrow night, and then you guys head to Wisconsin and take on MSOE at the current center before we even get into CIT week with Edgewood and everything else that's going on. So talk about this stretch and how important it is for your team. Oh, it's real important. We had, again, against Benedictine, we were tight with them for about 32 minutes last time we played them at their place. Um, but then they took over and we didn't respond. We know we can play with them. Uh, that's gonna be huge. And in MSOE, we only play once, just like Illinois Tech, we only play once in this unbalanced schedule. Um, so we gotta get them at their place. They've, they've only lost once all year. Uh, and then Edgewood goes, it comes before, we're at, we're at Edgewood before the Ann Arbor trip. So it is a key time. We figure we got to go probably six and three in our last nine games to get a playoff spot. That's and, realistic. And it's a very competitive, you look at it balance wise across the conference. Uh, there's not really one team that you can say is for sure out of it at this point either. No, no. I mean, people are, everybody's beating each other. And, uh, so the lower part of the standings at this point may not end up being the lower part of the standings at the end. And it's going to be interesting how it plays out. But we're confident that we're going to be part of it. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys out on the court. Cougars take to the floor tomorrow night here at Geisman. Then they head to Milwaukee in the Kern Center on Saturday. If you can't make it to the games, you can find all the live links at cucougars.com slash coverage. For head coach Randy Rogers, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.